What is going on everyone? Welcome back to our Grand Theft Auto 4 walkthrough series and today I'm going to be continuing on with our storyline mode. Um, I think today we are hopefully going to finish the game. That's my goal for today. I'm recording this on Sunday the 22nd. And yeah guys, other than that, let's go and check our messages here. Uh, what, let's see, what's this? Diamonds. Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're still getting some text messages about that. Alright guys, so, yeah, I think in, in today's episode, we're gonna hopefully kill Dimitri. That's one of my main goals for this episode, and then I wanna try to finish up the rest of the storyline. I think we should be getting a phone call here sooner or later. Alright guys, let me go in. I'm gonna take this car. It's a really nice ride. Let's see. Let's get this guy, or get this guy out of his vehicle here. Alright, perfect. There we go. And yeah, I think we should be getting a call from either Dimitri or Pegarino, someone else. Maybe even Bernie. But we definitely have a few more missions to complete with all those characters, so... Alright, guys. Yeah, other than that, it was kind of a rainy day today here on Sunday. There wasn't really much to do, so that's why I want to kind of get this game all wrapped up here today. Ooh. This section of the game, or the, the map over here, reminds me of San Francisco. Oh, Roman. Alright guys, so Roman's basically going to be getting married here, and I think that's uh, that's going to be one of our the most tragic missions in the game for sure, because wait till you guys see what happens if you haven't played the game. I think I, I already mentioned it in a previous episode, so this is going to be a, a spoiler alert, but Roman does uh, end up dying later on in the game, if you choose that option I believe. There is another option you could choose. Uh, I'm trying to think of... Uh, no, wait. Does Roman die either way? I have to look into that. But there is an option that you could choose later on that does affect the storyline. Um, and it's during the wedding. So I'm going to let that cutscene play probably. Because this really is a significant part of the story. Oh, Bernie. Wow, that's awesome. Alright guys, yeah, so we can uh, go and see Bernie real quick. And then I think we're also going to be getting a call from Dimitri. Which is really cool because he's going to offer to uh, work with him. But it's really a bad decision, so I would not recommend working with him. Because he, end he ends up screwing you over either way, so it doesn't really matter. You're better off just going and taking him out. And I have to say that taking taking Dimitri out is probably the coolest, one of the coolest missions in the game. Because it takes place on this ship in the harbor. Oh, here he is. Speaking of him. Oh, 
Alright. So yeah, guys, eventually we are going to kill Dimitri. And that is such a rewarding mission. Okay, let's go back this way. And I did play this game a little bit earlier today. I kind of went around, just messing around, basically, driving around and stuff. But, um... Ooh, wait. Where is Bernie? Is he in the back? I think so. Oh, yeah, he... Because we have to, uh, collect the car. Is this where we get the Inferness? I can't remember. Now, let's go take a look, guys. Let's go into this dark alleyway. <laughs> Hopefully Bernie's here, because he, he's usually not a nighttime person. Oh my god, look at this, guys. Is this it? Yes, this is it, the Inferness. Oh my god, guys, this is probably the, the best vehicle in the game for sure. And the cool thing is, is that we could park this at our safe house. So, you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to go back to the safe house. And I'm going to park this in front of it because I definitely want to keep this vehicle. This is freaking awesome. This is probably the most powerful vehicle in the game. And definitely the best one. The cool thing about the Grand Theft Auto franchise, I think they featured the Infernus in every game. But don't quote me on that. Look at how fast. It's a fucking beast. Oh my god. And I like how it shoots some flames out the back. My favorite uh, Infernus car design, mo the model, is probably my favorite in this game for some reason. I just like it. Okay, so now we can park. We can park right over here. Yep. And now anytime we park out here, we'll have the Infernus available, which is really nice. <clears throat> okay, guys. So now let's see. I wonder if there's any other missions. I guess we have to wait and uh, see if we get a phone call here. Okay. Yeah, and another thing, guys, I wanted to mention is once the game's completed, I will be... I'm going to try to get maybe 100% on this game. Maybe do some bonus episodes. Just let me know what you guys think about that idea down in the comments below. Alright, guys. Alright guys, so now that we got that phone call out of the way, I think we have his uh, wedding coming up soon. Okay, sweet. Finally got that mission opened. Oh, come here. Come here, taxi. Stop, stop. Sweet. Alright guys, so this is uh, one character that we have to kill. He's pre It's a pretty cool mission. I'm going to have to cut around a lot in this episode because there was a lot of dead air. I was pretty much just waiting for some things to happen. <laughs> but other than that, guys, uh, I'm going to just try to cut around this episode. Sorry for the uh, dead air space that I had to cut out. But there just wasn't much going on. Oh, jeez. All right. Where are you going, man? Disappointment is not a consideration. I have not been. Let's go here. Hopefully, we picked up Roman at the same time. Now I'm going to take this car. I lost myself that day too. Everything. It was good and innocent and me died along with them. I could live those... 
Yeah, so basically they just want to get revenge on this guy Darko from the old country where Nico uh, used to live after the war. He was basically a real bad guy, so... We have to just kill him here. There we go. Holy crap. Jeez. God damn, that guy took a lot of bullets. What did he take? 12 shots. Oh my god, guys. Alright, we have to take Roman to Brucey's place. Uh, you know what? Are we able to... Let's see if we're able to call Roman for a car service. Oh no. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna actually have to take this. Alright guys, let's go wait, pick up Roman here. That was a pretty cool mission, though. Maybe we'll be able to take a taxi once I get out of here. I'm turning this shit off. I can't take listening to those annoying ads and DJs right now. There you go. You got your revenge. How does it feel? I don't know how it feels. I'm trying to take it all in. This is the moment you've been waiting for so long. What do you mean you don't know how you feel? I mean, I don't know. I feel empty, okay? I feel empty. And something. Please. No, Roman. It's nothing. The emptiness is what I was trying to get rid of by fighting Darko. I've been angry ever since that day. I thought that revenge, killing Darko, might fill me up again. Might give me some substance. And it hasn't? No. It hasn't. All right, cool. So now we uh, got our revenge. Let's go and skip that part and go all the way back to Brucey's with Roman. Maybe. I don't know. Nice, thirty-two bucks, and we made it. I think that's it, right? Yep, there we go. Nice. Alright, so now we're going to call Bernie and tell him that he's dead. Darko is dead. Florian, I thought you should know. Darko is dead. He's finally paid for his crimes. That's good to know, Mickey. You should let go of it now. You have a new life in America. Cool. All right, so we got that all completed. Now everything's gonna go wrong, that's for sure. <clears throat> Everything goes wrong at the wedding. That's why we have to kill Dimitri. Even if you do kill him or you don't kill him, he ends up getting killing Roman at the wedding, so it really sucks either way. Oh, look at this. We got a nice bike here. The PCJ600. Oh, Pegarino. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Pegarino. I'll see you there. Okay. Now let's go and get in this vehicle and go see Jimmy Pegarino. See what he has to say here. Probably nothing good. I know a fun way to go. Thank you. Let's go and see Jimmy. Make sure I put my guns away. I don't want to get killed. One last thing. Let's see what this entails. 
Oh, that's it. We just had to talk to him. Alright guys, that was done. Guys, this is it. This is when we finally get to kill Dimitri. Coming up here. Yeah, um. Oh god. Forgot we have to talk to Kate. Yeah, what Kate's gonna tell us. We can either make a decision to kill him or choose the money. But, um. I'm gonna choose to take my revenge. Let's go and kill Dimitri, guys. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> At least I got to actually complete what I wanted to. Oh, that's Roman. Yeah, telling us. I don't care, though. We don't need the money. Because in the end, money is not really worth it. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go to our waypoint to kill Dimitri. And after this mission, I think I'm going to end the episode. Because next, the next episode will be the finale. Here we are, then. Okay, we just have to go down here, guys. Ooh. A dish served cold. All right, let's go take out this bastard. He's hiding out in this ship. Okay, go to the bridge. First, let's get some health. Nice. Shit, guys. Let's get some help here. So far, so good, guys. Let's go and head over here. Nice. Alright, so now let's go here. Let's go and get this submachine gun. Just because it's super fast. I really like this mission. This mission is so fun. Alright. Got that. Got that.
Nice. Got him. Cool. Now let's get some health back up again. Where the hell is Demetria? I know he's here somewhere. Alright, so now we have to open up the cargo because Dimitri's hiding inside of the ship. This is such a cool mission, guys. <laughs> it's definitely one of the most entertaining in the game if you choose this option. Alright, so now let's go get revenge on Dimitri. Ooh. Alright, Dimitri, where are you? Oh shit. Alright guys, let's see. Where the hell do we have to go now? Here, hold on one second. Let's get some health. Let's go back this way. Is this where we have to go? Honestly, I can't remember, guys. It's been so long. No, no, we definitely have to go back the other way. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe I should have watched that, uh... <laughs> that one cutscene instead of skipping it. Here we go. See, first off, is there any guys in here? Seems like there's more enemies or something. Yeah, see? Alright, we got him. Uh Hmm. Shit guys. Should not have skipped that cutscene. Let's go run around here a little bit. Oh here we go. Finally. Like an idiot. Oh god, this is where everything's gonna go down. Oh shit. Ooh. About to learn a lesson. Actions have consequences. You screwed me over. Now you're paying for it. 
Shame that will be the second last thing that goes into your head. Goodbye. You're the one who's going to learn a lesson. People aren't going to be happy if you kill me. Blood you up on I've never been popular. I don't mean to start now. All right. Finish off the main tree. There we go. Here we go guys, we got Dimitri finally taken care of. Go to the cargo holds exit. Nice, as we finally finish off this mission. Oh man, that was such a good mission. Get off the ship. Let's go and get up here. And that's gonna do it for us today, guys. Got everything 100% done. And in the next episode, it'll definitely be the grand finale. Awesome, look at that. We did it, guys. Now we're going to call Roman, I think. Good old Hove Beach. Where we first started everything. Nice. I'm pretty sure he's going to call Roman and tell him that Dimitri's dead. But the next mission should be the wedding, and then we'll take out Jimmy Pegarino. So, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. We finally got our revenge on Dimitri. And stay tuned for more content coming soon, everyone.